Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have been learning about multiplication of 3 digit and 4 digit numbers, right? So we will see some word problems involving these multiplications. So similar to addition, we know multiplication is repeated addition. You can look for the keywords to get a clue if it is a multiplication word problem. So keywords include how many total in all etc. We can go back to the addition word problems video as a reference. I will see the first question. See the question here? There are 524 pages in a novel. How many pages are there in 143 novels with the same number of pages? So what you are asked to find out here? You have a novel and it has got how many pages? It has got 524 pages and then you have how many novels? You have 143 novels with you and each novel will have 524 pages. We are asked to find out how many number of pages, how many total number of pages will be there in a total of 143 novels. How do you do that? You have to multiply the number of pages in one novel by the total number of novels you have with you. So first let's write the steps. So from the data given in the question, the steps will be like the number of pages in a novel. That is 524. The number of novels is equal to 143. And the total number of pages equal to the number of pages in a novel into the number of novels. So let's substitute the data. So it will be equal to 524 into 143. And let's do the multiplication in the working column. So it's 524 into 143. So that's a three digit number into a three digit number, right? So let's start with the ones. 3 into 4, 12, carry over 1. 3 into 2, it is 6 plus 1, 7. 3 into 5, 15. So that's in the first product. Now, the tenth digit of the multiplier into each digit of the multiplicand. So, that is 4 into 4, 16. So, you write the 6 here, carry over 1 to the next place. Now, 4 into 2, it is 8. Plus 1, it is 9. 5 into 4, 20. Now, you put a 0 at the end to make sure the place values are correct and the digits are in the proper columns. Now, 1 into 4. 1 into 4 is 4. So, where you, where you write that? In the hundreds column. 1 into 2 is 2 and 1 into 5 is 5. You put zeros, two zeros at the end. Why? Because you are actually multiplying 100 or 100 into 4 which is equal to 400. And similar to each similar multiplication with each digit of the multiplicand. So now, let us add the three products together to get the final product. So 2 plus 0 plus 0, 2. 7 plus 6 plus 0, it's 13. I carry over 1 to the next place. So 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 5, 18 plus 1, it is 19. Again, I carry over to the next place. 2 plus 0, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, it is 4. Now 5 plus 2, what is 5 plus 2? It's 7. So what is the final product? It is 74,932. So the total number of pages in all the 143 novels will be equal to 74,932 pages. Clear? Now let's see one more question. See the question given here? If a petrol pump sells 2,318 liters of petrol in a day, then how much petrol will it sell in 6 days? So what is given? So you have the petrol pump and in one day it sells how many liters of petrol? 2,318 liters of petrol. And you are asked to find out how much petrol it will sell in 6 days. So that would be equal to the amount or the quantity of petrol sold in one day into the number of days in that is into 6, right? 
you do the multiplication and you will get the amount of petrol solved in 6 days. So first let us write the steps from the given question. So the amount of petrol solved in a day will be equal to 2318 liters. The number of days is equal to 6 and the amount of petrol solved in 6 days will be equal to the amount of petrol solved in a day into the number of days. So let us substitute the numbers that gives you 2318 into 6. Let us do the multiplication in the working column. So 2318 into 6. 6 8s are 48. Write the 8 1s here. Carry over the 4 tens to the tens place. So 6 into 1 6 plus 4 it is 10. I carry over 1 to the hundreds place. 6 into 3 18 plus 1 it is 19. Again I carry over to the next place. 6 into 2 12 plus 1 it is 13. So what is the answer? It is 13,908. So the amount of petrol sold in 6 days will be equal to 13,908 liters. I hope this is clear to you. Now you can go to the topic the word problems in page number 44 of your textbook. Once you have done that please move on to exercise 3.5. And you have to do question number 1 given there. You can pause the video, finish the activity and come back. Hope you are done with that. Now let us discuss the question. So what is the question given there? Abhijit has a coconut farm in which 246 trees are planted in a row and there are 213 such rows. How many coconut trees are there in the farm? So what is given in the question? So there is this coconut farm and the coconut trees are planted in rows. You might have seen coconut farms. So, we have 46 trees in one row. And how many rows are there? There are 213 such rows. So, you have the first row, second row, third row. And in each row, you have 246 coconut trees. And the next row also, you have 246 coconut trees. Like that, how many rows? There will be 13 sorry 213 rows. Now how do you find out the total number of coconut trees in the farm? So you have the first row 246 plus 246 plus 246 and like that how many times you have to add 246? You have to add 246 213 times which is the number of rows. So you are adding repeatedly which means you are multiplying. So let us multiply 246 and 230 the number of coconut trees into the number of rows. So the product will give you the total number of coconut trees right. So let us write the steps. How do you write the steps? The number of coconut trees in a row it will be equal to 246. The number of rows is equal to 213 and the total number of coconut trees is equal to the number of coconut trees in a row into the number of rows. So that is equal to 246 into 213. Let's do the multiplication now. 246 into 213. What is 6 into 3? It's 18. I carry over 1. 3 into 4, 12 plus 1, 13. Again, I carry over 3 into 2, 6 plus 1, 7. Now 1 into 6, 6. 1 into 4, 4. 1 into 2 is 2. Now 2 into 6 is 12. I carry over to the next place. 2 into 4 8 plus 1 it is 9. 2 into 2 4. Now let us insert zeros to correct the these values. Now 8 plus 0 plus 0 is 8 itself. 3 plus 6 plus 0 9. 7 plus 4 it is 11 plus 2 13. I carry over 1 to the next place. 9 plus 1 10 plus 2 it is 12. Now here this 4 plus 1 5. So what is the final product? It is 52,398. So the total number of coconut trees will be equal to 52,398 trees. I hope these questions are clear to you now. 
Now, as an activity for the day, you have to complete the rest of the questions from the exercise. That is question number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Once you have done that, right below that you can see this question. Please go through this question as well and do accordingly. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Until then, bye.